Barkman's Corner from the Flames of War Cobra book. And we got uh, Barkman and his Panther, two squads, and a command unit, which counts as a uh, squad in Iron Cross, which is the first way I'm playing this. Tank blown out. Um, they can't pass it. It's a narrow road, so they're, all these guys have to go off. They have to pass with a three plus, I believe. I need to look again. So they're all going to have to go out. Got a commander and a sub commander. So they're going to split up so they can use them. These guys will attempt to come on turn two. I'll use Iron Cross reserve rules for it and then turn three. Normally in Iron Cross, they come in on turn three, but I'm going to use the Flames of War uh, scenario call on that. These guys are elite, fanatic. They're in foxholes. These guys are just normal. The, this guy here is pool who's got some skill like a he doesn't have suffer the penalty when uh when shooting and driving and there's another one i can't remember he's ag aggressive of some kind so i took the stuff from the flames of war call out on pool and call out on barkman and tried to make it add some of the skills from iron cross trying to play it as straight as rules as written as i can so seven turns plus a potential eighth okay uh into turn one uh, Barkman pulled up here so he could shoot these guys coming around here. Um, he inflicted uh, two hit, two morale hits on the commander, which is probably not good. I probably need to back that commander out. So he's not taking hits so I don't lose those markers. I need to do that, actually. Um, these guys just moved up and around. He got stuck, and he got stuck. These guys are moving up. Pool is back here. I probably really should move Pool over there to flank. But because um, they're not going to penetrate this front armor, so really he should probably uh, go up here and maybe come down the road. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and I'm going to so I have these guys have a, they have aggressive, so they get an extra d6 of command. And I'm going to have only pool have aggressive, so he can get up to six extra command. But I think it'll only be for him. So I think I'll represent that, but with upside down markers. And both uh, both teams got um, two extra command last time. Okay, because in this case, in, in the American's case, Poole is the only one that's kind of aggressive. So he's going to really try to push it forward. And pretty much what happened here is he moved up. And these guys did nothing. They don't need to do anything. So he moved up, and then he just tried to... I just kept throwing reactions on, or tokens on, trying to get sixes, and I didn't get any. So he only got the, sh the shots on him one time. So, or two times. All right, that's that. We'll come back at turn two. End of turn two. I uh, just noticed something. There are no hit markers on him. I had to accumulate up to three hits... Um, but because I don't really have to do much except for shoot and stuff, and they were done, used all their actions, so I need to start saving some of theirs. I got so many tanks to move on, I really need them to come up. Um, he had three hits, and I just kept doing company morale checks and test and passing the company morale, you know, the, to add things, so I was able to get them all off. And I get rolled a two, a five on the comp company morale check. <clears throat> uh, one time which took the last two off so he had took up to three hits in a turn pool has taken three tokens because i hit him and then i rolled a two smoke is filling the cabin they're a little ineffective at the moment so i'll definitely do a company morale check to start um these guys are making it forward this guy keeps stalling out it's great it's so funny that they failed here i think they failed here here and here so it's funny it's like the crew's just not great i got four of my five guys on he'll try again so he's got his um wait a minute I probably can't give him his token yet because he hasn't earned it yet. So I'm going to turn him back. I'll test for him as well. So I'll test for all of the tanks coming on. Four of the five came on. That's pretty good. I need to flank, but these guys got to get moving. I got a bunch of turns on here. I might just have to go down the road too. I might just have to scoot and get close um, and start getting these guys. Basically, the Americans have to be here. You can destroy the units too, but get here by the turn into turn seven and take the objective. Basically, like just take this, not the building, just the town. The, the space here all right that's that we'll see you at the end of turn three bye into turn three we have two dead tanks now nope not two just the one pool got destroyed so that is one token out of the pool which i, I need to count to make sure i do that <laughs> one pool out of the pool because the pool's no longer there yeah he did it these guys started firing on these guys they're all taking morale tokens starting to pling away kind of freak them out that guy keeps that guy started failing these guys platoon move, platoon move. Oh, wait, that's the only thing I can do that turn. I don't think I could have platoon moved those guys. Okay, now I know. Um, 
I think it has to, I think you can just do that and that's all you can do that turn. So I couldn't move them and then platoon move. Lesson learned. Okay, so there we are, uh, turn, turn four. Four, five, six, seven, potentially an eight. So four turns to get knock this guy out. That's why I decided to move these guys up here. I thought if I get these guys up here and I start just plinging away, I'll get enough hits on him. Or maybe I can just get his morale. Even if I don't penetrate, I can get enough on there. So, all right. And these guys need to get moving up here. And I didn't want to put him up here because I didn't want him to start taking morale tokens. And that's that. We'll roll for initiative. Oh, count up the co command tokens and do initiative. So, yeah, into turn four. This should tell you the story you need to know. Barkland bit it. Um, when you have these many tanks firing on you, the odds I rolled, I mean, I wasn't penetrating because it's a 10 weapon value versus a 17 front. Well, 10, 17, I rolled an 8, so I penetrated. Now, I did actually, I did penetrate several times, but I kept rolling like 1s and 2s. 1s, and they got a hold down of 1. So actually, that's what happened. I hit it like 2 or 3 times with, with a 1 and got a minus 1 because of the hold down, so it was 0. So no more morale markers. And then, but after a while, you're going to hit it. Um, their break point is 20 points. That's 15 of their 30. Um, if one of these guys go down there, they hit their break point. Um, they've got one morale token. Now these guys just need to just start really lay waste on this guy. Just start firing like crazy. They have inflicted some pain here. They can penetrate them. They got a three weapon value. Again, we don't know really what's happening there, but they can because they're only a 13, so they roll a 10, they penetrate it. So that's kind of cool. Plus, they got their anti-tank. They're just waiting for them to get within 8 inches, and none of them are. So why would they do that? They're just going to sit back here and plink away. Though, and none of them are within 12, so they don't have to take the minus 1 penalty for being within 1. So that's these guys are going to go down at some point here, um, even though they do have to roll a 6 to get additional morale markers. So it's going to be a much because they're in trenches. Um, I mean, the command token total of three, four, five versus the 17 or 18, um, plus if they get any additionals with their role, uh, you're, you're, you're just going to overwhelm them. I could keep going with this exercise. I think I won't. Um, I mean, some fun things will happen. I mean, if these guys could hold out, that would be awesome. I just don't see it happening. If I can take out this tank, I'll be able to take these guys out at some point. Because just with a number of morale tokens. Um, so I got to think this through for Iron Cross, how that would work. Because, see, these guys would all get, if in Flames of War, they'd get a three. Well, first of all, there'd be two more stands. Because their squads are two stands each, right? So maybe what I should do is instead of just having two squads, maybe I should have four squads to have four stands, but I didn't because, you know, they get to collect up uh, all those hits. So I thought it might balance out and maybe it does. I don't know. Um, maybe this guy needs another kind of maybe more commands. Maybe, maybe he can pass a test again. If he fails a roll, um, I was trying not to add any house rules and I did with pool. So maybe he needs something else too. Um, you know, and this is where you look at the design of the scenario based around the gameplay and how the game plays. And I think there needs to be some tweaks here for Iron Cross because at some point, you're just going to overwhelm. I mean, he, he lasted four turns taking on hits, but after a while, it's just going to, I mean, just started adding up. I tried to react to back him up, you know, and he failed. So I don't really see it going any other way. Um, because you just, I, I kind of waited, and I was just shooting, plinking at him, and then I moved him up and just started adding him, and he just accumulated super quick. Um, that's that. So that, it, it was fun. I did enjoy it. Um, either make improvements here, or one less platoon of tanks, maybe. But even here, I mean, that's just one platoon going at it. So, and, and I could have failed to get the guys in but again i'm rolling so much i'm gonna get a bunch of tanks on i'm th just a three plus so um i don't know some tweaks need to be made on this scenario to simulate uh, barkman's corner and iron cross i think laid out as um, was laid out by flames of war okay that's that had a good time we'll see you at the next game bye uh, this post uh post video thought here Another thing I could do is move this hedgerow, this bocage line up so that they are within eight inches. So they'll suffer the minus one and they'll get to use their anti-tank weapons. Um, 
this one, I guess I could move that one too. Kind of just change the angle of it so that, to get with an eight would be tougher on that one though. So this one, I don't think I'd do. So you could just swing around here. Um, anyway, so this guy can only see into that field. These two guys only into this field, so. All right, anyway, that's it. We'll talk to you.